Hi everybody, it's Cathy here and today I wanted to talk about quantum physics and how knowledge of it can really boost our ability to manifest the abundance that we would love to experience in our lives. So I'm sure that most of you would know that what we perceive as this physical solid world is not actually solid at all and is actually made up of energy vibrating at different frequencies and all of which exists as part of one unified field of energy which has intelligence or consciousness and even though we might know that part of us has bought into the idea that things in our world are fixed and they're immovable because that's how it appears to our physical senses and to our logic but this is still just a belief it's a really ingrained one uh, and so we sort of perceive this appearance of separate forms, but really it is an illusion. And the biggest illusion of all is that we are a limited human being in a body separate from everything around us. And it's this belief that cuts us off from this great field of consciousness that is our true power. This is the creative energy and the organizing intelligence of the universe. And it's from here that the limitless possibilities exist for us to tap into because it's this, this higher consciousness uh, that's flowing through all of us kind of knows how to take us and to grow us into who we're here to be. We are not separate from this incredible power. And so by understanding some of the principles of quantum physics, even just a little, it offers us a model of reality that's fully believable on a logical level because it's backed by science. And it gives us tremendous advantage when it comes to changing these ingrained beliefs that we have. And that we really need to do that in order to create the change that we want in our lives. So just before I go any further, I'd like to invite you to just for a moment, close your eyes and bring into your mind something in your life right now that feels like an immovable situation or maybe um, something that you want to get through or maybe you have what seems like an impossible dream it could be something around uh, your relationships it could be about money it could be business dreams health uh, goals it could be anything and so either pause the video or if you have something in, in mind now, just feel how that feels in your body when you tap into it, when you think about it. Feeling this sense of, I can't do this, or I'd love to do this, but, and kind of getting a sense of where you would love to be and feeling that resistance. And you might get a sense in your body that it feels heavy or a sense of being stuck or maybe overwhelming. It might feel uh, like that you've got a mountain to climb. You might visualize a mountain or you might see some other barrier like a wall across your path. So what do you notice? What words come into your head? What emotions come up as you feel into this? Um, and what are those images in your mind's eye? See what those physical sensations are in your body. You might feel this sense of resistance or stuckness in different parts of your body, like in your solar plexus or in your heart, or you might feel it on your shoulders, you might find it in your head. And just connect in with what these different sensations are. And just notice what's there as you connect into this potentially impossible dream or this thing that's too big. Just notice what you notice and maybe, maybe write it down and we're going to come back to this later. Okay, so I'm going to talk about quantum physics in a nutshell and it, because I'm certainly no expert in this, it will be just like a small window into it. This is what's really helped me in so many ways when I started exploring it. So I hope it will be enough to remind you of how powerful that you really are and open up your minds to what's really possible for you, especially around the things that feel stuck right now. So quantum physics is essentially the study of the building blocks of the universe. And taking your body as an example, you know it's made of cells, you know that the cells are made of, of molecules, the molecules are made of atoms, and the atoms are finally made up of so, subatomic particles. 
And it's these subatomic particles that are really interesting. So everything in the universe, in the physical universe, is made up of large groups of pretty much the same type of these subatomic part particles. The chair you're sitting on, a car, a cloud, a tree, your nose, you know, and everything else. They're all concentrations of energy that create these separate forms. And the difference between one form and another, if everything is made from the same essential stuff, is really how the concentrations of energy are grouped together and the intelligence that is causing them to be grouped together. So I'm going to talk about what subatomic particles are, how they operate and respond to us, and how knowing this information makes anything possible when it comes to recreating yourself and the world around you. And at the end, I'll let you know how you can go deeper into this and learn some practical tools that harness this energy to create more abundance in your life. So just to kick off, what are subatomic particles? Well, all physicists agree that subatomic particles are not really particles of matter like you might think. They aren't solid objects that exist in a fixed time and space, say like a, a grain of salt or a grain of sand or something like that. They are packets of energy and they exist as probability. So they exist either as a waveform or as a particle. And we know that everything in this physical reality is energy, yes. And so what that looks like is energetic vibrations spread out over space and time, <clears throat> which is this unified field of consciousness. And what quantum physics has shown is that when you observe something, these waves, they, they sort of turn into localized particles at a particular time and space. And as soon as you withdraw your focus, they become a wave again or a probability again. So it's this action of giving your attention and intention to something that literally creates that thing as a space time event. Uh, in scientific studies, you often hear this referred to as the observer effect. And it's why placebos have such a high rate of success when people think that they are being given drugs to bring about a specific outcome. And it's all to do with uh, your focus and your beliefs or your expectations. Or you might get specific results in your business or your, maybe your fitness levels if you're focused on a particular outcome. For example, if you're, you're, working, to, um, you're working on a project in your business uh, or you have personal goals that you're wanting to achieve at the gym. So whilst you're work, working on them, you create them, but when the focus changes, so do the, so do the results. And also when things aren't changing in your life or your work as you'd like them to, maybe you're stressed and you're seeing lack uh, and you're, maybe you're stuck in your head trying to come up with a solution, in those circumstances, you're also doing some powerful focusing, which in turn does some powerful creating. Your attention on what is there, even if it's unfavorable, is literally causing these subatomic particles to continue to show up in the arrangement that they are currently in, in your physical reality. You are literally creating your reality with your mind. So it makes sense to be really mindful about where you focus because what you focus on, you create more of. So can you see how powerful you are as a creator because of the way that you influence this field of energy? Uh, and you know, it can be in a positive or a negative way. In fact, we can't not create it and it's all to do with your focus. So as I mentioned before, no solid object is really solid. It's made up of trillions and billions of rapidly flashing packets of energy. And they flash in and out of that space where the object is. They don't just stay still. And this is the illusion that science can now demonstrate that our physical eyes can't detect. And interestingly, this phenomenon was perceived by the Buddha two and a half thousand years ago. Uh, when I was on a Vipassana course, which is like a, a meditation course and consciousness course, uh, a couple of years ago, 
where they teach and facilitate the purest teachings of the Buddha, not from a religious perspective, but just his teachings and his observations. They use a really simple analogy of a river to explain this phenomenon of um, so when you when you look at a river, you see the river as a continuous entity. But if you throw a stone in and then you throw another stone in a moment later, that river is not the same river as it was when you threw the first stone in. The river has changed. There's, it's like the energy has flowed through it. Nothing is ever the same. And you, but you still perceive the river as the same as one continuous entity. Uh, and in the same way, when you watch a movie and you see a person walk smoothly across the screen, in reality, it's just a film reel being projected onto a screen with 24 frames per second being projected. And as you, it, you see this person walk across the screen, but your eyes don't detect the gap between the frames. It's an illusion, again. And um, so nothing is fixed. And this is, this is what this physical reality is. It's the illusion that things are stuck and fixed. So nothing is fixed. N not our bodies, not our life challenges, not our business problems, and not our identities. And when you change your thinking to come from this fluid, open perspective, it allows change and other possibilities to, to flow into your life. Uh, and because you're freeing yourself from making judgments and conclusions about how things are or must be. And if you can stay in your heart and hold an open attitude of creativity and curiosity about what's possible for you, you directly connect into this intelligence of the greater field of consciousness, which is pre predisposed to grow all things in nature to their highest potential, including us. So one last point I wanted to explain around abundance, but from a quantum physics perspective, is the idea uh, in some spiritual texts that before you ask, it is already given to you. And what this is trying to say is that you have the potential to have riches and abundance beyond your wildest dreams, uh, because everything you can imagine and everything that you haven't yet imagined already exists as a possibility at the quantum level and it's this organizing intelligence of the universe and our inherent abilities to influence this unified energy field that makes it possible so you may not be experiencing it right now but you have the potential for example you have the potential to learn to speak chinese or write a best-selling book or fly a helicopter you may not have experienced this aspect of your ability yet, but it exists within you as a possibility. All you need to do is choose to experience it. And so, you know, this means that if you find yourself seemingly stuck in a loop where things just don't seem to be changing into more favorable circumstances in your life, no matter how much effort you, you're making to, to change it, then this is where you need to take a look at what you're focusing on but what are the thoughts in your head what are the conclusions that you've made what are you telling yourself um, and then make another choice you are not stuck it isn't possible because as we've discussed it's the nature of this physical reality to be in constant change so make another choice aligned with what what you do want to experience hold your focus on that and watch your life transform and you don't need to know how things will work out. You just need to desire, to intend, to maintain focus and to know that it's possible and it can't help but come to you. So now I just invite you to just check back in again. Now that, you've, now that we've covered this, this topic and this potential of what you can create and how powerful you are as a creator, just check in again with your impossible dream or desire that thing that just feels so big so difficult to achieve or so far away and just close your eyes and feel into it now how does it feel now you're reminded nothing's fixed and everything's possible
Does it feel more open? Is there more a sense of expansion, possibility within you? Maybe some excitement. So since I started focusing on this as a meditation, I found that my desires open right up because my beliefs about what was possible expanded. Uh, and life feels now significantly more abundant and magical because of it. So ask yourself the question, you know, if you could create anything in your life because anything is possible, what would you create? And don't try and answer it with your head. Just leave that door of possibility open and stay in that place of curiosity and see what shows up. And let me know what, what happens. I'd love to know. So, you know, come back to this. You can come back to this over time. It's a great reminder to kind of drop back into this awareness because daily life just takes you off. You get influenced by the people around you. But you need to be constantly reminded of the powerful creator that you really are. So if you'd like to delve deeper into manifesting more abundance in your life in 2018, I'm running my Activate Abundance workshop again on January the 20th, and you'll be uh, learning some practical energy tools that access and channel the power of this greater field of consciousness. You'll be connecting with your unlimited higher self and your higher guidance to help you find clarity and vision, uh, to help you clear abundance blocks, and to help you to open up to receive more. Uh, we'll be going deep, so it'll be a powerful but fun day, and uh, because it's very hands-on and interactive, and it's going to be guided by the flow of what people bring into the space, uh, there's going to be a maximum of 12 people so that I can give enough time to everybody. Um, it's being held at the beautiful natural venue, Ladwater Farm, which is just near Rickmansworth, uh, at the top of the Metropolitan Line um, from London. And the cost of the day is £97. If you'd like to come, you'd be very welcome. And for more information, you can uh, just go to the link which I will put under the video and uh, you can go and find out more there. So that's it from me for now. As I said, if you've got any comments or you've got any questions about what I've been talking today, then do pop them in the box below and uh, I'd love to hear from you. So that's it from me. Bye.